Well, howdy folks, good old grasslinger here again. Well, here's a Troy Belt push mower I got at the dump, pretty much for free. Came with a mulch plug and a grass catcher and a side discharge chute that points to the left and hooks onto the back. Yeah, it's probably one of those uh, commercial models. I mean, it's the cast aluminum deck. It was built in 2000. It's got the Honda 5.5 horsepower on it. Self-propelled, rear wheel drive with three speed and throttle control. And when I first got it, all I needed was a spark plug. I thought it was bad gas. All I needed was a spark plug. And the adapter down there looked like it's a little bit bent, but when I put my hand right here on the motor, it wasn't vibrating as bad. So I'm probably not going to bother straightening it. Well, anyways, and then I don't know about a couple weeks later or a little bit longer, and the self propel cable finally broke. Well, I ended up putting it back together with a clamp and another cable because it was going to cost a lot of money just to replace this stupid thing. And that's just changing it myself. I mean, that's just the cable alone. I said, uh, instead of paying that much money, I ended up getting this clamp for, I think, 65 cents plus tax. So it was only one penny away from hitting 70 cents. But what the heck, 69 cent repair? And the rear wheels still drive. I'm glad I got this thing. I think I got it either the end of July or early August. I really don't remember. The only thing else that's still wrong with this thing is the height adjuster. The handle's broken, but the deck is just fine the where it's at. So, no need to lower it anymore or, or lift it any higher. It's fine where it's at. It's not scalping or it's not leaving it too tall of a trail. Now I just got to take the blade back off because I got to sharpen it. Oh, and the original blade was so bad. I mean, the areas were had some cracks on it, and the blade was just too dangerous to be used. So I ended up switching blades. So I got rid of the got rid of the original blade and put in one of those MTD replacements. But then you can replacement blades you can put on more than the MTD mowers. You can put them on any brand like Craftsman, Husqvarna, or Murray, or well, you know all that stuff. Well, anyways, I think that's it for now. Choke might need some work because uh, it doesn't start right away when it's cold out. And with it getting colder, it's kind of a little bit harder to start, but I know when it's warmer out, it starts easier. Oh, well, as long as it fires up, that's all that matters to me. Well, there you go, my 2000 Troy built that I got at the dump. So y'all have a good day, and bye-bye.